I'm Art Gatenby. I'm with CSC Scientific. We wanted to bring you this video discussion of sieve calibration using calibration spheres. To begin with, a word about sieve certification, which is different from calibration. Sieve certification is an insurance policy, an insurance policy that a sieve and a sieve mesh are made in conformance with standards, usually established by ASTM and ISO. As part of these standards, a focus is made on allowable tolerances of the sieve mesh openings. These tolerances become relatively larger as the mesh sizes decrease so that the problems of variation become larger with the smaller mesh sizes. Calibration, on the other hand, compares the actual performance of a sieve to a specified operating result or actual mean opening criteria. One of three techniques is usually used for calibration. The first is to develop a master sample of material with known particle size distribution and to compare the amount of sample retained on a sieve to the known distribution. This technique is really used because of the difficulty in establishing and maintaining the master sample. The use of a master sieve stack is often employed. With this technique, the results of a sieve test using working or operating sieves is compared to the results obtained from a master sieve stack. This technique is time consuming and subject to sample errors and needs tight control of the sieving process. The third method of calibrating sieves is a simple, repeatable, and meaningful procedure that uses calibration spheres. The steps are straightforward. The sieve to be calibrated and a receiver pan are teared on a balance. A vial of calibrated spheres is added to the sieve. The sieve and receiver are weighed and then shaken for about two minutes. The material that passed to the receiver is emptied out. The sieve and the empty receiver pan are weighed and used to calculate the percent retained on the sieve. This number is plotted on the calibration graph. The plot gives the mean opening size of the sieve. Here is a video courtesy of White House Scientific that demonstrates a calibration procedure using microspheres. Calibrating laboratory sieves using White House Scientific Standards. Choose the calibration standard relevant to your sieve. White House Scientific have standards ranging in size from 20 microns to 3.35 millimeters. Each set of standards is provided with a detailed methodology. The certificate of analysis, including a calibration curve, and information regarding tolerances to ISO and ASTM recommendations. To calibrate your sieve, firstly place it onto a sieve pan and onto a balance with a minimum of two decimal places. Ensure the balance is teared at this point. Take one single shot bottle and empty the entire contents onto the sieve surface. Record the initial weight of the standard. Shake the sieve for one minute. This can be done by hand, as you see here, or by any other mechanical or sonic method. Once complete, discard the microspheres which have passed through the sieve. For sieves one millimetre or larger, the microspheres can be returned to the bottle and the standard used again provided no more than 3% of the original weight has been lost. Reweigh and record the retained weight of the standard. Subtract this value from the initial weight to give the weight passing and convert to a percentage. 
Using the calibration curve provided, read off the mean aperture size of the sieve. Alternatively, use the free sieve aperture size calculator available from White House Scientific. Calibration offers one main and important advantage over certification. It measures the operating performance of a sieve. In the master stack technique, it compares the operating performance of a working sieve to a known sieve in the master stack. With the microsphere technique, it measures the performance of a sieve in terms of mean aperture, or really what the openings are really like. Calibration can be done at any point in the process. For example, when a new sieve is received, after a specified number of tests, when visual inspection indicates a potential problem, or when operating results show anomalies. Thank you for watching. We hope this has been useful. Please feel free to share this with your colleagues.